What's up guys, welcome back to Rugged Adventures. Today, we're gonna look at this, uh, this silencer. Some people call them a silencer, some people call them a suppressor. Doesn't really matter what, what you call it. All that you need to know is they are one of the coolest things ever. I mean, I have shot fully automatic weapons, I've shot large caliber weapons, up to 50 cal BNGs, um, AR-15s, AK-47s, bump fired things, we've blown up Tannerite. But these suppressors are one of the coolest things that you can uh, get for your firearm. And the biggest reason that it is super awesome is because when you are using one of these, especially on these lower caliber uh, guns like this 22, which is what this is made for, 22 caliber uh, suppressor here, is that you can lose the hearing protection. And that is awesome because I, to be honest with you, I hate wearing hearing protection when I'm shooting. I, I don't know why, it's just, you know, I can't talk to people and whatever. So as long as you're shooting uh, smaller caliber stuff and you're using subsonic rounds, but even on this with supersonic rounds, it is still super quiet from the muzzle blast. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna take a look at this. This is an Advanced Armament Core uh, Prodigy 22 long rifle suppressor, and you can use this on your rifles, you can use it on pistols, and we're gonna show you both of them today. Now this particular one is a monocore suppressor, and you know I don't know if this one is any better or worse than any other suppressor that you can get on the market, and we'll try to take this apart. I don't know if we're going to be able to because we've shot it a whole bunch, and they get all, gummed up with with uh, now this one we're gonna have to do a little bit of work on to get it, it out of there but just thread it on the end of your rifle thread it on the end of your pistol and what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a listen to it uh, shooting as best we can with the camera and I'm gonna show you the difference between uh, shooting supersonic rounds through it shooting subsonic rounds through it and then the coolest thing is is if you are using this out of a out of a pistol out of a handgun like this or we've used this out of a uh, Walther P22 you actually do not need to use subs uh, or super or subsonic rounds you can just use standard supersonic rounds because with the uh, barrel length of a handgun it does not allow the 22 to get up to supersonic velocities and really 22s are just over like your, your typical 22 long rifle is just over the uh, supersonic barrier at uh, sea level or at like 800 feet where we are here and so Anytime that you put it into a pistol, it probably isn't going to get up to supersonic speeds. So let's load up some mags and show you what the difference in the sound is, and we'll pull out the decibel meter and take a look at that as well. Okay, first up, we're, we'll just get a baseline with the, uh, this is a Smith & Wesson M&P AR-22. Um, just put the regular flash hider back on it, and I'm going to shoot just standard uh, supersonic, just your typical Remington uh, 22 long rifle loads. And I'll put a few rounds downrange, and we'll see what the decibel meter reads as far as the peak. So what we're going to do is I'll, I'll take this off, screw on the suppressor, and we'll get another listen to this with supersonic ammunition in it. And that's all you got to do to change the from uh, your flash hider to your suppressor. Just screw one off, screw one back on. This came with these, uh, with the with the barrel threaded from the factory, so there's nothing funny that you got to do with it. And we will see what supersonic through the uh, suppressor sounds like. And so you get a lot less gun noise, but you get, uh, you still got that supersonic crack down range. So let's take this mag out and we will reload it with the um, subsonic rounds and give that a shot out of the suppressor here. So these are uh, CCI clean um, subsonic 22 long rifle. As you can hear, there's there's very little sound with it at all. Let's see if we can get a target to hit. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the 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 sound of the casings hitting the floor is quite a bit louder than the actual um, than the actual uh, sound of the gun or the uh, downrange crack there's there's zero downrange crack at all 
But what I've done now is we have the uh, the Ruger Mark IV, same suppressor that we had on the uh, on the 1522 here, and we are we have this loaded up with supersonic uh, 22 long rifles, same exact Remington supersonics that we were shooting in this. And the cool thing about, like I said, about this suppressor with the pistol is, is that it does not have the barrel length to get it up to supersonic speeds with standard ammunition. So if you have a suppressor for this and you have a pistol, you can still get that, uh, that silence, that suppressed sound without having to spend the extra money on the uh, subsonic uh, ammo, which actually doesn't cost too terribly much right now. I think it's about... Uh, ten dollars for 50 rounds. So, you know, not terribly cheap, but not uh, not too terribly bad either So we will send a few rounds down range and then I'll put the camera down range So that you can hear what it sounds like with the supersonics and with the uh, suppressed down range I'm not sure how well you guys can hear that But it really is like nearly silent if there was any other noise around I don't think that you would be able to hear the report from this over the um, over the, the action of the gun itself. So let me take this camera, put it down range. I'll shoot uh, some near it, and we'll see what that sounds like from down range. Okay, so first off, we're going to do just regular full-on supersonics, uh, no suppressor, just the typical flash hider. And we will try not to shoot the GoPro. Again, these are your supersonics uh, with the suppressor, so it should suppress the muzzle blast, but not the uh, downrange crack. So this is subsonics with the suppressor out of the rifle. Hardly anything. I mean, seriously, hardly anything whatsoever. Hardly anything. And so, the last thing I wanted to show you guys is... <clears throat> Supersonics out of the pistol um, with the suppressor on it. And we will I'll also put it... I'll also load up a couple of... Um, a couple of uh, subsonics with the suppressor. So this is supersonics, pistol, and I'll shoot kind of more away from the GoPro than I was before. And hardly anything whatsoever. And we will just put a couple of subsonics in there. with subsonics through the pistol. I don't really notice much difference in sound at all with the subsonics. So guys, that is the uh, the 22 long rifle suppressor. It's a uh, like I said, Advanced Armament Corps Prodigy suppressor. It's a monocore suppressor. Um, we like it a lot. It's worked out really well. This is it legit. It's it's got all of its tax stamps. It's licensed. It's it's everything. So there's no need to go reporting us to YouTube or the ATF or whatever uh, because it's it's all legal. It's all legit, guys. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. That really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. Be sure to subscribe. We are real close to a thousand subscribers. If we get to a thousand subscribers, we can I can start getting a little bit of ad money from that. And what that can do is make it so that we can do more videos like this. We can afford more ammo, more guns, more fun stuff. And so we can continue to bring this uh, high quality, awesome content to you. So guys, hit that subscribe button for me. That would really help me out quite a bit to get me up over the hump. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one.